cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and possession will switch hands first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first, they'll throw with Elway. He's going to fire one deep over the... And that's caught inside the 35. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. It's a big play there. 47 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find the people plays, not necessarily... And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Ricky Williams, a 23-yard run. And his guys have taken the lead here in the fourth. And that rushing touchdown is fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Anderson on for the extra point. Extra point by Anderson, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that drive spanned five plays. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Chargers getting set to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The first down throw here for Rivers. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Ready. 380. On second down, Rivers again. And that's going to be incomplete. Now those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And it's complete. Henry. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Back to throw. Allen's got it over the middle. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. He's back to throw. And this completes to Henry over the middle. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Back to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They'll look to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A gain of four on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. Rivers to throw. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Rivers. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. So they make the decision they want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. 20, 10, and he's going to take it all the way into the end zone. 
What a return, and they've taken the lead. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah, what looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out.